Hey everyone, boom, it's Rachel. I'm back at Moonlight Library. Go ahead and subscribe, I'm glad you're with me. This is the beginning of a vlog. Oh gosh, I feel like all I do is vlog now, but <laughs> that's my life. So, yeah, uh, the last video I did, which is up by now, but is not up in my time, is a, I don't actually, anywho, so <laughs> I don't know how long this vlog's going to be, but I'm going to be reading three books throughout it. And the purpose of this vlog happened because of my TBR game video. It became outstandingly obvious what I had to do. So what I had to do <laughs> through that <laughs> was the fact that I was like, the three books that ended up being chosen, two at random, one because I did it, you know? It turned out that quite obviously, I needed to do a best of booktube, fa booktube favorite books. I don't know what I'm gonna name it right now, but you'll know when you're watching it. So I'm gonna vlog myself reading some of the hitters, some of the faves, some of the ones that everyone's talking about that I have not experienced and uh, it is uh, quite well time. I don't know why I keep making this sound. Uh, if you haven't watched the video, go watch it and then come back. So you can see how I end up choosing, cho choosing these. I won't tell you how I chose these. So you better watch it. <laughs> First one is Six of Crows. Have not read this book, have read one book by Lee Bardugo, that was Ninth House, which I was not the biggest fan of. If you saw that wrap up quite some time ago, I think it was like my August wrap up. I read the Ninth House and was like, ew. But people seem to really love this one. Heist book. I don't know if I like heist books, but we're gonna find out. So six dangerous outcasts, one impossible heist. Do. Next book I'll be reading is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I used to love the series, the Tithe series. I don't, I don't know if it's called the Tithe series, but in high school, I was all about Tithe. I was like, this is the best book in the whole freaking world. I love it so, so much. Hi, the modern fairy tale. So all three of those books, Ironside and Valiant, I, I love them so much and I've read them over and over again. So I'm excited to read Cruel Prince. I have read one Holly Black, Black since. I think I read part of The Darkest Part of the Forest and I did not like that book. Like I did not like it. So <laughs> we're gonna see how I feel about The Cruel Prince. I have a feeling I'll like it because I have loved well, some of her books in the past. And I also, oh, you know what? I also watched, read those graphic novels she did a long time ago called like Kith and Ken. Uh, I don't remember if there were more than those two, but those were amazing. Lastly, kind of nothing like the other two because two fantasy and one like realistic book, The Hate You Give by Andy Thomas. I've, I've never read an Andy Thomas book, but I'm very excited to try this out because people just won't stop talking about it in a way that I'm like, I have to read this book. I need to know what is all the hype about. Are these truly hype? I don't know. Is the hype real? I don't know. It probably is, but I'm excited to give this one a read. I'm reading this for all of them for my young adult literature class for my master's in library science. This one is specifically for the prompt of reading a banned book because this was challenged in 2017 by some school or library. And so it ended up on the banned books list through American Library Association. I think it was 2017, maybe 2018. So those are three books I'm going to be reading and that's the, also the order I will be reading them in. Here we go with Six of Crows. I'm not gonna just start reading right here. Like, a do 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 Gosh, those sprayed edges though. Boom. Love it. Hey. Hi. I'm back. It's uh, the next day. I, I guess do days don't really matter here. Uh, just judging the day by what I'm wearing because this is not uh, 
a normal reading vlog where I'm just showing you everything I'm doing. I'm just talking about books here. That's it. Booktube. Just books. Just for the books. So I was on a specific page. Sometimes I just memorize the page I'm on. And sometimes I'm like, we're going to use a bookmark today. And I think I was somewhere around page 60, 59, 60. And okay, so I have low expectations because of all the hype around it. And I'm so far intrigued and I'm actually really liking it. It's been a long time since I've read like a high fantasy book. I don't know why I'm like crouching. I just feel like I'm not in the shot because I really set this up awkward, but whatever. So it's been a while since I've read more high fantasy and I'm really enjoying it. I love dark academia and stuff like that. So this is like a vibe and I'm understanding all the like bookstagram and book talk and all of that. I get it. I get it. Like I'm into it. I'm invested. I went last night and like I read some, like I, I didn't get super far, but I started looking up on book talk. I was like six of crows, you know, <laughs> I'm like Grisha verse. I want to know, <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. Okay. Like I'm like, Hey, <laughs> what what's happening to me i think i'm excited to be excited with everyone and just like feeling the excitement and it's spinning around me and i'm just like whirlwind of excitement yes because that's me right now i'm super happy so i'm gonna read some i haven't like i read a couple pages during lunch today i don't know why i'm like gesturing like this and my roommate's staring at me like i've gone crazy and so that's just how i feel and I'm going to read some more of this tonight. Okay, so it's taken me a while to get back to y'all. It has been a week and a half since I've started Six of Crows. Wah. It's been a week and a half since I've started Six of Crows. Um, I'm about halfway through. I've been really slowly reading just about everything. I had a book club book that was very time intensive too that I was reading at the same time as this. So I'm halfway through and uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. I think let's first talk about the plot. I was like, a heist novel, that sounds dumb. I'm gonna hate it. And I haven't read much fantasy in a long time, like I've probably said before. And I'm so intrigued. I, the world they've built is, Lee Bardugo's built has been so interesting. It's had so much going on. It has, it's so fleshed out. I completely understand where we are, what's going on. Like everything is so good. Also just like the atmosphere is beautiful and wonderful. And I'm like all those like weird, like vibes coming off of it. Dark academia, kind of gritty. Okay, so then the characters, the characters are six main characters and they all have their own personalities, their own stories, their own motives. They have so much going on. They have their own relationships with each other that all matter. And the way you're going through this story is you, each chapter is devoted to a different character and it goes boop, boop, boop. And <laughs> there's never a point that I'm like, oh, I hate blah, blah, blah's chapters. You know, no, I love Kaz. I love Inej. I love Nina. I love Mate Mateus. I love Jasper. I haven't gotten any, what's his name yet? Why Wyatt? Wayland? Wayland Smithers? Yeah, who knows? Wow, I knew everyone else's names, which is really good because usually while I'm even reading a book, I don't remember anyone's name. I'm remembering all their names that like, you get these backstories on these characters that you sometimes I'm like, I don't need this or I don't want this, or get me back in the story. But the backstories for these people, you're like, whoa. And the different tangles they've been getting into and Kaz's mind where you're just like, holy, always has a plan for everything. And you're just like, oh, it's so good. It's so interesting. So yeah, so far I'm really loving this. And I'm only at the 50% mark. They're still on the boat and <laughs> Oh my god. 
I can't wait to get further and tell you. Maybe I'll touch back at like 300 pages or so because I'm at around 200. Or if anything like crazy happens that I'm like, I have to inform you of my feelings. Overall, I think I'm going to start reading this a little faster since I've gotten so many homework assignments and all that done and I have a little more time. So <laughs> here we go, right? Hopefully I get like a good amount of reading done tonight even. Fingers crossed. Uh, so yes, I was reading this. I'm still enjoying it. It's just taking me a long time. Uh, so I went ahead and started reading this. <laughs> Today I was like, on my drive, I could get the audiobook for it. So I could like start it and I was like, oh, I'm so excited and I'm loving it. I'm fairies, like what? I love, I, it takes me back to like high school and reading Holly Black's Tithe and you know, <laughs> it's like, ooh, what's gonna happen? And that one guy, he's so mean. He really is a cruel prince. Cardan, Cardan. Uh, Love and Jude so far. So this is about this girl and her two sisters, one of which turns out to be like the child of this high born fairy or something. And uh, she was the mortal mother had taken the child and pretended like they died to this fairy and the fairy ended up finding them and goes, nah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take those kids, but has to take the other two mortal children, um, you know, because honor and stuff. And uh, so then, so, <laughs> so he takes the mortal children and as well, even though he, you know, he murdered uh, their family, but that's fine. Um, you know, he's still really nice, you know. <laughs> And then we're following one of the mortal girls. They're twins, the two mortal girls. And then there's the older sister who's like their stepsister, it turns, or half sister, it turns out. Because they're not fairies, but she is half fairy or fae. Yeah, it's just them like as teenagers. And the one we're following, Jude, really wants to be fae, kind of. And like she also is very interested in uh, like this tournament going on and stuff because she wants to be a knight i guess a fairy knight uh, but malicor no that's a name from shadow hunters that's not it whatever his name is the step daddy uh step daddy step daddy fairy was like uh dude no I have other plans for you and I think something's gonna happen, you know, because she's, they're being picked on by the cruel prince and his friends. Uh, but I've heard this is an enemies to lovers situation. So they're gonna be like, just kidding. We love each other. We'll see what happens. Six of Crows on the other hand, I've gotten further, a little bit further. I'm not at the 75% mark yet, but I'll probably get there soon. This is like two days after I last updated y'all. Um, yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Okay, bye. Hey y'all, I finally finished Six of Crows. Maybe I shouldn't talk to you about it like this because this is a little awkward. Um, I'll get back to you. No, I'm going to say it now. So I really enjoyed it. It took me way too long to read, like three weeks. That's way too long. And I had a great time though. <laughs> I loved all the characters. I thought they were very dynamic and interesting. I thought the relationships were really good and like relationships between the characters and stuff like that. I had a good time with the story and I think the pace really built up as it went and it got more and more interesting like I, I liked it from the beginning I thought it was intriguing it's just something about the pace just was not having it with me so I finally like really got into it and started like actually reading it more in each sitting where I would read it and like be think start thinking about it outside of reading and like oh, I really want to get to it so I ended up giving it five stars because I was like I had so much fun a uh, so much fun and I loved it. And that's it about that.
other side, I'm halfway through Cruel Prince. So yes, I was reading both at the same time. Um, this is how far I am. So it's pretty good so far. I am very interested. And the main reason I was like, okay, firstly, I should probably talk to y'all because I'm halfway through. And I loving this like um, enemies to lovers sort of situation going on. I'm very interested in what's going to happen because I have literally no clue. And I love the world that's built here. It's so good. And <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much intrigue going on. And I was reading Goodreads reviews and someone was like, everyone was like, the ending though, what? And I'm like, oh my god, I want to know. I want to be in on the know. And then they were talking about in this page 140, 174, <laughs> learn to read. Um, they were talking about Roy Ben, and I was Lord Roy Ben, and I was like, wait, what? And he's from Tithe, Holly Black, Black's Tithe, which I really loved, and Ironside, I think. And I was like, oh my god, are they gonna be in this? I like, I had this feeling that it was linked, but I just didn't actually know, and I got so excited that this was linked like to tithe and I'm like this makes me want to read tithe and originally I was going to do a vlog where I read this and tithe which would have made sense but at the same time like mm, I'm totally gonna do a reread I need I need to like I want to reread some of like my favorites from when I was a teenager I think that'd be kind of fun after I read all these young adult books for my class and then I go back and I'm like Hey, this is what I used to read, you know, when I was a teen. Like, when was I a teen? Like, 10 years ago. What? <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, so someone is courting Taryn, and I am like, I feel like I know who it is, and I don't think it's Carden, and I'm like, mm, I have a feeling because someone said they like dramatics. That would be dramatic. Okay, one more thing. So, I kind of really like how Jude is such, like, a morally gray character. And she doesn't really... It's not... Obviously not black and white. And she's kind of, like, you know, a bad bitch. And she does what she wants. And she's gonna fuck shit up. That's how it feels. I'm like, you, you're about to fuck shit up. And I fucking know this. You're cool. <laughs> I like Jude. I don't like Taryn. <laughs> Vivi's okay. Yeah. Locke is questionable. Very questionable. Questionable person. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew who to trust. And I knew who to not trust. I did. I called one thing, but wow, there was a twisty, I'm like, this far in, and that was a twist. I was like, what? You, you, that? That happened? <laughs> I'm just waiting for, like, what's the big reveal in the end, the big cliffhanger? Oh. So, um, I'm horrible at vlogging. <laughs> Sorry. This book has already made me cry, like, two or three times, and I'm only this far, and I'm gonna tell you about the Cruel Prince later in a next scene, but I just had to say, like, wow. <laughs> I laugh sometimes when it's, like, a lot of emotion, and I'm just, this book is, like, oh, it's heartbreaking. I feel like the rest of this vlog is just gonna be me crying. <laughs> I feel like I should have read this a long time ago. I mean, like, it's perfect. Like, I'm so glad that I'm finally reading it. But. <sighs> okay, I'm pretty sleepy, but. Let's chat books before I go to bed. 
I read this book very fast. It was wonderful. I loved it. I think I spoke a little bit about the characters and how I felt about them. And I just like, there were so many twists that happened. Like, yes, I called some things, but other things were like outstandingly surprising. I got in bed last night and just powered through it so fast. I had such a good time with it. Um, I can't wait to read the rest of them. And whenever that time comes, probably over the summer, I'll read through those. And I'm <laughs> just like, I love it so much. I need more enemies to lovers. I see what the hype is. I get it. Like, I understand why it's a favorite. Like, it makes so much sense to me because <laughs> I'm, I'm in love and the twists were perfect and everything was wonderful. So those are my thoughts on that. <laughs> so I started The Hate You Give earlier today and I'm already like almost done with it. I'm like that. I've read that much and I swear I've just been crying throughout the whole thing. It is so relevant. It is so, it is like such an important book and I love everyone in it and I love the character dynamics and just like the everything being spoken about is just, it's so hard hitting and it's so like impactful it's about Star who witnesses one of her childhood friends being murdered by a cop and he was like he's portrayed as this like drug dealer like gang member but then it's like but what about the rest of him and there was no reason for the cop to shoot him obviously like it was a hairbrush basically he was just asking Star if she was okay and then the cop just like fired and it's like this really happens and it's crazy there's this point right after it happens where she's saying like I can't breathe and it's like before George Floyd even happened and you're just like thinking about how like those words but see I can't talk about it without crying maybe <laughs> so I feel like I understand why it's such an important book and why most people I know and most people in Goodreads it has like the highest score I've seen a book have like almost ever <laughs> Like, it all makes sense. I saw the movie, and I enjoyed the movie, but the book is just, like, so much more. It is so much more. I do want to rewatch the movie, because I feel like a lot of things are happening in the book that I'm like, I don't remember this from a movie. Like, the dis like them trying to move to the suburbs, and most of the gang stuff maybe I just don't remember the movie I'm kind of starting to feel like I don't remember the movie or what happened in the movie and like Star is such like a strong character and she's learning how to stick up for herself and stick up for what she believes and stick up for who she is and like not let people say like racist shit to her and stuff and the discussion about like how people say these sorts of things and just say but I'm not racist. She's experiencing it a lot because of the duality of her life between going to a privileged white school you know like a private school with all these white kids and she's like like a minority there it like especially because there's like one of her like there's one guy who's also black and everyone jokes about them getting together because they're the only black kids there or like her friend who is Chinese and the things she's heard said to her and stuff like that and then you like someone will say a comment and it's like but I'm not a racist it's just a comment like it's just a joke and it's like no but that was a racist thing to say like not fucking cool so 
yeah, I'll probably finish this tomorrow. I'm really freaking tired. I was planning on trying to finish it today, but that would be uh, crazy. I love it though. I love it so much. Hey there. Um, I don't know how the lighting is, but this is the end of the vlog. I'm gonna talk about the books I read. Oh, I took ah! Maybe I should tell you, okay, so I finished The Hate You Give. Of course, I cried a lot. I gave it five stars. I have something on my jacket. I just finished it a little recently, and wow, this is just like, whoa, it is consuming. It is tragic. It is beautiful. It is altogether a really good story and a really good message and a lot of incredible like, I don't, the whole thing was just so fucking good. It was just so good. I, I can't think of anyone that wouldn't like it or why you wouldn't like it. Like, I can't even think of it. Can't put it together. Even if you don't like YA, I think this is the sort of book that anyone should read. Anyone, anyone. Just list them, they should read it. Are you a baby? You should read this. It's wonderful. Yes. Maybe not a baby. They probably wouldn't understand. Also, it has some, like, graphic content, you know? So, whenever your baby's ready for this, maybe, like, I wouldn't say two months, but I'd say, like, seven months. Anyways, my point is, this book is perfect. Boom. So, I don't know how I did it. I got five... <laughs> three five-star reads in my, this little reading blog. It's not really a blog. It's more of like talking about three books that happen to be on my TBR that happen to be book two favorites. Uh, Six of Crows. Yeah. Cruel Prince. Yup. Duh. The Hate You Give. Yeah, duh. Why do I think these are favorites of people? You know, it's funny. I posted this on my Instagram and most of the people that did comment, I, of course, I have a very small following. So <laughs> I wouldn't even call it a following. But the people that did comment, they actually commented that they didn't like this. But I feel like I always hear that people love this. But maybe I'm just so inside of booktube that people that I hear have read this love it. So there you go. This is just my opinion that these are favorites of booktube. And that's my opinion. <laughs> but I can see why people like it. It is not completely centered around romance, which a lot of these like young adult ones are. It's more action driven. It has a lot of stuff happening at once. It has these dynamic characters that you fall into liking each of them for different reasons. Everyone has a story. Everyone has a purpose. And I think everyone's likable. I'm scared to read the second one, Crooked Kingdom, because I hear that people don't like that one as much from what I have Reckon, uh, no, is that the right? Reckoning, you are my reckoning. This makes no sense. Yes, Cruel Prince. I've heard that the sequels are like way better. <laughs> in my young adult class, I posted in a discussion that I read this one and my professor was like, oh, if you like that, you're gonna love the next ones. And then I mentioned to a friend that I read this one and she's like, oh, just get ready for the second one because <laughs> I loved it way more and I fucking loved Cruel Prince. And I'm like, ah, because I love Holly Black. I think she's a wonderful author. Yes, I did read that darkest part of the forest one, or I don't even think I finished it. I think it, I, I hated it so much. I just gave it one star on the spot. So maybe that's a little bit of a bad, so, like, but I'm sorry, that the Tide series, like, that got me through high school, you know? It made me who I am. I wanted to be grunge like that, you know? I wanted to be a, a bad bitch like that. So here we are, another bad bitch, and I fucking love it. I am into it, and I am enjoying it. I understand 
why people love this book because it's uh, not your typical girl, you know, or not that. <laughs> because it's always that. And this is a strong female protagonist that doesn't take no shit from anyone. And that's got to be loved. And, you know, you, you got to love it. You got to have it. You got to love it. And I love it. So there you go. Lee Bardugo on the front, just as I said before. Is Holly Black on this one? Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't we laugh forever? It's not. Um, or she's not. <sighs> Lastly is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I think this one different, way different from the first two I read. Two fantasy and two a hard-hitting contemporary. It's a little bit of a weird choice for me to put those all together, but you know, we do what we do and we want to do what we want to do. So I think a reason, like the main reason that everyone loves The Hate You Give is that it's just a really good book. And it has, once again, a strong female protagonist who learns about herself and learns how to not take shit from anyone and learns to speak for herself, learns to use her voice which is just beautiful and talking about like racial tension and stuff like that in a time when there's so much unrest and it's just gotten worse and worse. So, you know, I'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it. So we're just, yep, I just, I think everyone should read this book. That's it. It's it's a favorite for a reason. It's got like the high score on IMDb or Goodreads. The IMDb of books called Goodreads for a reason. That's three five stars. And I'm going to go off and read some more books. Um, So that's it. No. So that's all about that. And I'm going to go read some books because I need to finish a lot of books. And I'll probably talk about those later and other things, you know. Yeah. Bye.